What's up? I'm Connor Trumbull. I'm a commercial photographer and videographer. Tonight I'm going to shoot pipeline and teach you guys how to shoot during sunset. Check it out. <laughs> the hardest thing when you're going to shoot sunset is going to be deciding if you want to overexpose or underexpose. If you overexpose, then you're going to be shooting to get detail on the guy that's actually in the barrel. And I'm going to show you a couple examples right here. If you underexpose, you're going to be shooting for this like kind of epic background. You're going to get some colors. Like that's what I like to do. Like later in the sunset session, and it's going to be like pretty epic. You get a lot of colors. You get a lot more from uh, from editing. So yeah, check out the session. I wanted to give you guys a little preview of kind of what it's like in the water out there at Pipeline. But now I want to slow it down a little bit, show you exactly what was going on. Essentially what I did on this wave is I overexposed it a little bit. You can see Jamie O'Brien there in the wave. Uh, pretty clearly the stickers, his face. Uh, he's still a little bit dark, but that's going to happen at sunset. But for the most part, you can definitely tell who that surfer is. Uh, and then the sky is also missing a bit of detail and it's a little bit overexposed. Here's another example of overexposing. You can see Brent Bielman here uh, in the barrel is really exposed. You can see a lot of the detail in his face. Um, Fun fact, Brent's actually a world-class photographer. Definitely check out his page. His work is absolutely incredible. Here's a few more photo samples uh, from this one session. I just want to point out that overexposing and then keeping detail in photos is significantly easier because you should be shooting in raw. Uh, so you're going to be able to bring back a lot of detail in editing, where in video, you don't have nearly as much flexibility unless you're shooting on a, a red or something like that. So for me on a DSLR, it's significantly more difficult to really color grade and keep that detail. So you need to keep in mind how you're shooting uh, much more, in my opinion, while doing video. The big thing for me is that you really need to be shooting on a flat profile. That's going to give you a lot more flexibility than dealing with the detail in your whites. Check out the link uh, above and then you're going to be able to get a lot more information in another video that I'm making on that because I'm going to go really in depth there. For me though, I really like exposing for both the surfer in the wave and kind of underexposing for the sky and getting it all vibey. And I know that's contradictory because it's a little bit in between, but this video here I think shows a really good example of how I overexposed a bit, but it wasn't so far to the extent that I couldn't get this like really nice vibey colored uh, edit out of it. What I mean by vibey is really just a silhouette. It's a really powerful way for filmmakers and photographers to really make their viewer feel like they could be that person. They're in the shoes of that person getting barreled out of their mind or doing something really epic. And that's a really powerful thing in underexposing at sunset. Um, that kind of like leads us into why you would underexpose um, in a lot of your images. You're able to get a lot more out of dark areas than you are in light areas in photos. So that's a big plus in shooting dark. Uh, you're able to get a lot more detail than in your sky. You're able to pull a lot more from the wave. You can see in the explosion of the wave, there's a lot more detail kind of in those grayish white areas as well. And that's huge for a high quality image. The only downside is then you might have a hard time figuring out who your surfer is but the thing is because you're able to bring a lot out of those darks a lot of times you're able to recover this so like in this photo for example you can clearly see it's nathan florence um, maybe that's because it's like red board fans on the shoulder stuff like that but you're able to recover so much more when you shoot dark and, and that really is my biggest advice Obviously in the ideal world, you'd like to really just properly expose. But the reason I even made this video is just because it's so difficult to shoot at sunset and I really understand that. You're shooting into the sun, you're changing different exposures from bright to really dark, stuff like that. It's something a lot of photographers struggled with and I definitely did for a long time. And that really takes me into the number one thing I think that I struggled with was actually hitting focus in video. Um, it was so, so difficult 
This is especially a really big issue when you're using a prime lens that's really sensitive, like a 50mm 1.2 or 1.4, or especially like for me, my 100mm macro 2.8 it really likes to hunt for focus really quickly and just going back and forth. So I developed a method where essentially you find an object where you hit focus on them at infinity. So that means something that's gonna be probably 20 feet away and farther. So that's either gonna be a jet ski, the land, something like that, that has high contrast that you can focus on. Then you wait for the set wave. You keep holding on the like trigger you're holding it essentially in manual focus at infinity and then once the surfer passes the sunset and there's no longer a massive glare straight into the camera you release and then you let autofocus do its thing to track the surfer as he comes closer to you here's some raw clips from the session at pipe that i got on the gopro uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel that would be a huge help to me if you have any questions just ask in the comments i'll try and get back to you uh, if you want to see how i edited the photos from this sunset session check it out in the description below or follow the link above i'm going to do a little light room uh, behind the scenes on the editing process also shout out to a few guys that gave me advice on shooting sunset in the past few years uh, ryan moss laser wolf and eric nuts and all of them have incredible work and inspire me a lot. Uh, definitely check out them. Uh, their Instagram bios are in the link below. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you learned something.